<clears throat> what up y'all welcome back to another video today i want to talk about the last two games of the brooklyn nets which is game three and four of the brooklyn nets preseason schedule actually i'm, I'm mostly going to talk about game four because game three it, not much to talk about jeremy didn't play very well and let's see i'm gonna give you the score real quick and jeremy only shot around three of 12 of that game which is pretty pretty bad but yeah they blew out the new york knicks 117 83 Jeremy Lin didn't have a really good shooting game, but he did get seven assists and more of the same from the last two, from the first two games. The game today against the Philadelphia 76ers, the Brooklyn Nets got the first loss of the preseason. They lost to the Sixers 133-114. There's a lot to take away from this game. First off, the Nets were really looking good really early. I think they were up by like 10 midway around towards the end of the first quarter. And then once Atkinson took Lin, and Russell and the starters out and then Crab and Levert came in. The 76ers just went on a astronomical run. They were, at one point it was 27 to one from the end of the first quarter towards the middle of the second quarter and the Nets couldn't buy a bucket and the Sixers were just scoring at ease. They were, they were clowning the Nets and Joel Embiid, my God, what a stud. And, Joel Embiid absolutely destroyed the Nets in this game. Uh, I, I don't know, he, he is a generational talent and Mozgov, that's barbecue chicken, man. I mean, <laughs> uh, Jeremy Lin actually had a very, very good game. He had 14 points, two rebounds, one assist in 23 minutes. He got into foul trouble really, really early. He got something like 3,000 in the first quarter. But he was really smart with his shot selection. He only shot the ball seven times. And he got 14 points out of it. This is a continuing trend of not just this preseason, but Jeremy Lin's career. Because of all the foul shots he gets, and because he is very, he's a pretty good three-point shooter, it takes him very, very minimal shots to get lots of points. That's what you need to win games. Someone who doesn't take a lot of shots, someone who gets to a line, and someone who can score you a lot of points, like Jeremy Lin can. Meanwhile, D'Angelo Russell had a really good game. He got 24 points. He went 9 for 20. As I talked about in my last video, I really hope that D'Angelo Russell, you know, would just tone it down to slightly. But hey, if you can make it, go on ahead, man. Shoot it. D'Angelo's size and his dribbling skills definitely allow for him to score really, really easily. And I'm really, really glad he and Lin are running mates because he, I think he makes Lin's job a lot easier. I think the Nets will play like this every game. They're not going to get blown up by 20 every single game. They're not going to allow a 27 to 1 run every game. Hopefully, they'll fix things after this game. They have a week till the next game, which is next Wednesday. I forgot who they opened, I guess. Maybe it's the Pacers. Um, I'll check on that. The Sixers might be one of the teams to compete with the Nets for the 8th or 7th seed for the playoffs in the East. So it's so this is um, kind of an important matchup because I wanted to see how the Nets match up with the Sixers. The Philly 76ers are matchup nightmare, I'm telling you. They have Embiid at center and they have Simmons, who plays point forward, who is 6'10". And then when Fult comes back, he's this year's number one overall pick. He's nothing to uh, to sneeze at. They also have a bunch of other young talent like Dario Saric, who had 26 points tonight. 26 points, 10 for 14. I didn't even realize how good he shot it, 10 for 14. I think the Nets are really talented as well. But man, this, this Sixers team is really, really young and really, really talented. The Nets is gonna have their hand full. All right, that's it guys. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Please leave a thumbs up down below and tell me what you think about this game and i'll catch you next time peace out